morning welcome back to another vlog today was a thursday morning and i woke up very very early today i typically wake up around like 5 15 5 30 on thursday mornings because i coach orange theory and i love to take the morning class before i coach my classes so right away in the morning i make my greens i've been having athletic greens love 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 them just because it's the perfect way to wake up in the morning instead of darting to my kitchen and making coffee and having that on an empty stomach so i like to have my greens i'll wake up early in the morning to do my skincare I do my skincare i'll change into my workout set immediately just because this is going to motivate me to either go to the gym or go to workout class that i have scheduled for the day i definitely recommend setting your workout set out the night before i always used to do this especially when i was trying to get into a fitness routine because it just eliminated the thought of what am i going to wear to the gym or when am i going to get to the gym because i knew now that i have my workout set on i'll be able to get to the gym at least sometime throughout my morning and then before i knew it it really became a part of my daily routine At this point, it's around six in the morning and I'll mix up my pre-workout. I prefer to have pre-workout if I'm working out very early in the morning just because coffee is not too appetizing for me this early and I prefer to enjoy my cold brew and drink it leisurely. So I'll pack up my gym bag of everything that I need for the workout, for coaching. Also, I bring with me a breakfast because I get so hungry after the workout and the workout typically wraps up around 7.45 and then I have 45 minutes until I need to hop on the mic and coach my classes. So I coach at 8.45, 10 a.m. and then I wrap everything up around 1.30 after coaching my noon class. So busy day, but it is so much fun. And like I said, just getting some movement in in the morning and starting off my day with the workout always feels so good. taking class and now I'm going to do a quick shower and change and get ready to coach. It is a freaking sauna outside. It's so incredibly hot, but it's about 1.45. I just finished up coaching and the classes went so well. My last class was pretty much full entirely, which was so fun. And it's funny because like since today I was teaching the same template for all three classes, you just like get into a, such a rhythm of it and it just becomes like muscle memory as you're coaching, which is so fun. But it was such a good workout. I took it this morning as you saw and it's probably not my favorite, but it was it was a good little start to the day, but I'm like out of breath right now because I just finished cleaning. So now we're gonna head home. I'm so hungry and I'm ready to make some lunch. So we're gonna do that and then get ready for the night because I have an event tonight. So today is just back to back to back. Let's do it. Typically for me, when it came around to lunch, I would always make some sort of snack plate or I would just have the most girl dinner type of lunch ever. But even during the busier seasons of my life, I really try to make an effort to cook quality meals and just have something more substantial in the middle of my day. Especially during the busier seasons of my life, I love meal kits. I've been using meal kit service deliveries ever since college because seriously, they have transformed my routine. Like I said, especially when I'm busier, the last thing that I wanna think about is when at the grocery store, creating a grocery list, putting together different meals for the week. And that is why I love Blue Apron because it really helps me get out of my recipe rut and just switch up the different things in my routine that I'm eating because I've talked about in vlogs before but I just want to have more fun with the different meals that I'm cooking in the kitchen and it really helps me get out of my recipe rut and they have 80 plus options every single week so there's really something for everyone's taste and when I cook with Blue Apron I feel good about where my food is coming from it helps me enjoy my food more and it's stress less I don't have to think about what I'm going to be going to grab at the grocery store that week putting together a whole list and potentially just wasting so much time and money buying ingredients or groceries that I don't necessarily need and I love that 
that you can choose from a variety of different options designed for easy prep or you can even do no prep meals, easy cleanup, and such quick cook times. So definitely check out the description box and you'll get 50% off the first four weeks of your new subscription. Clearly I was too excited, so I already dug in, but this burrito bowl turned out to perfection. It tastes delish. I've honestly never made burrito bowls before. I've done like taco bowls, so a very similar concept, but I love like the bean and the beef mixture together. So good, and the rice turned out to absolute perfection. So this is definitely gonna be like a meal that I start to make in rotation, and I have leftovers for tomorrow, so I love that. We're finally starting to get ready for the night. I hate when I'm crunched for time, but I just had to prioritize other things. So now we're gonna start getting ready. It's like 4.20 right now, and my friend's coming over at five to meet me. So that means we're gonna switch up what I'm gonna do with my hair. I was planning on just curling it, because for me, when I curl my hair, like that's just the safe bet, because I always know that it'll turn out how I expect it to. But recently, I've been loving like the messy Delaney Child's bun, and I tried it for the first time a couple weeks ago. And I made a TikTok trying it and it turned out so, so, so good. So I'm gonna do that tonight for my hair, I think, cause it's really pretty. And also because it is so hot outside, I will thank myself later. Cause I think this event is on a rooftop and if I'm not mistaken, the rooftop is outdoors. So we're gonna do that for my hair. Also you guys, I was just on Instagram and Hailey Bieber is freaking pregnant. That's insane. It's funny because like, I just forget that celebrities live just like we do. And I'm like, there's literally gonna be a baby Justin Bieber. Like that is wild. Wild to me. Okay. I just don't want it to look like ratty and it kind of looks ratty right now. I feel like whenever I do that, everything just turns out so bad. So. the full look of the outfit for the night. This dress is just so pretty. I cannot get over it. I like this yellow just complements me super well and it's so flowy, it's so comfy. The bag is from JWP and I'm just wearing these gold like little flats from H&M. The hair is herring. We love that. And then I'm gonna spritz on a little perfume. I got this from Amazon. It's from the brand Dossier. They do like the dupe perfumes and this one smells so good. It's like the perfect sweet scent i love it and then the lip combo of the night because we know i love good lip combo so i'm just wearing sephora creme de la creme this is my favorite lip liner in the entire world i just love this shade and then the buxom lip gloss in the shade creamsicle so that's the look we're gonna head on out i'm so excited Vlog. I love Lauren. Hi. We're twinning in yellow today. I know, we really very, are. I love very it. Very excited about it. Love. Yay. <laughs> Happy Friday. I just got to the gym this morning. We're doing a leg workout today, which typically I never do legs on Fridays, but because I was coaching on Monday and that's typically when I would do legs and I didn't work out. So I decided we'll switch it to Friday today and I'm feeling a little tired. So hopefully this energy drink, I've never had it before, but it's the goat fuel gummy bear flavor. And I'm hoping it's good because I'm relying on this to get me through my workout. 
I actually really like this. I think I'm just gonna do like a leg workout on the Smith machine. So that's the plan for the day. But last night the event was so nice. It was just like very mellow and relaxed. So it was like such a cool vibe, very cool on the rooftop and the weather was really nice. And I got to see so many of my friends. So it was just like overall such a good vibe. And I got back home around 8.30. So I don't know why I'm so tired today. I think just because this entire week I've been very, very go, go, go. Like this week has felt as though it's been a month long. <laughs> like just one of those weeks where I have something going on pretty much every day and I've been very busy but I love being busy I always say that I thrive off of not being stressed but having a lot to do because I'm just a mover and shaker I feel like and this week was definitely much needed but I just want to kind of slow down for a little bit this weekend and relax I actually might go visit my grandma in Naples because I know that she would really love that so I'm planning on going probably tomorrow morning and it's like a three-hour drive it's two and a half when I put it on maps but realistically it's around three to three and a half hours but I think that'll be like the perfect slow down relaxing weekend and then coming up it's gonna be a lot like I definitely want to just sit down and do a get ready with me while I give you guys a little bit of a life update chat about upcoming plans that I have and all of that because lately my life has been so busy in the best way possible and I absolutely love it because the winter time is typically a bit slower just in terms of my like personal life and I feel like my vibe is just a little more chill and mellow and this summer I'm like wow I did not realize how many plans and stuff that I already have like ready to go and booked so anyways I'm gonna be done chatting I need to get my workout in because I've already been procrastinating this morning so let's go do that and kick off the day not a good day to forget my water in the car but that workout nearly destroyed me this morning but it was such a good leg day and clearly that energy drink worked because I ended up filming also a TikTok of my leg day workout and did a few more exercises at the end so I'm definitely feeling so tired and hungry right now I'm gonna go home make some breakfast and then get some work done for the morning get that all squared away and taken care of also I nearly freaked out because I watch YouTube vlogs while I'm like walking on the treadmill to warm up it's like just it makes it go by 10 times faster and I forgot my iPad on the treadmill like I just totally forgot it there and I didn't realize until I had finished up my workout and I was looking at my workout bag I'm like where's my iPad and then it was at the front desk thank goodness because otherwise that would have been a day ruiner but I'm happy that somebody turned it in because for some reason when I looked on my find my iPhone app my iPad's not in there so I need to make sure that I get that synced up because every other device that I have like my Apple Watch my MacBook my AirPods everything else that I use is on find my iPhone just out and about getting some things done right now and I just stopped at the vitamin shop because these are my favorite the little protein brownies I showed them in a vlog before but I love them so much and I was right next to a vitamin shop so I'm like I'm just gonna pop in and grab one oh, my mouth is like watering they're so yummy 
Like, it's hard to believe these are even good for you. The fact that there's how many grams of protein? 19 grams of protein in this. Like, what? And only 9 grams of fat for this entire brownie. And it doesn't even have, like, a protein flavored taste to it. I love it. But I decided that I'm going to Naples tomorrow, and I'm so excited. Like, I just caught up with my grandma. Sorry, I'm, like, chewing right now. But what I was saying is I just caught up with my grandma on the phone for, like, 30 minutes and she's so 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 excited for me to come tomorrow so i'm probably gonna leave around like nine hopefully get there around noon and then spend the day with her tomorrow as well as a good chunk of sunday and i'm looking forward to it it'll be like the perfect downtime also she really really wants a dog because sadly her dog passed away i want to say like two months ago now and that dog was honestly like her lifeline like that dog lasted oh my gosh how old was he or she I think she was like 15 years old or something and it just gave my grandma like so much purpose because she lives alone and she just like it was literally her child because i'm the only one that lives in florida my aunt does as well but they don't get to see each other too often so very excited to see her and just kind of relax unplug and have a really good chill weekend tomorrow I'm watching things but, like oops, you know sorry listening to a podcast um but i'm gonna go finish up running around and then head back home make some food and kind of just chill for the night i really want to watch the new color daddy episode because it came out a couple days ago the one with dave portnoy and i've been waiting patiently to watch it tonight because i love watching her podcasts um on youtube like so i can just have it on on the background or just like genuinely chill scroll on my phone watch it and that's what we're gonna do tonight just genuinely veg out and unwind <laughs> Y'all, how good did dinner look tonight? I swear, my chefing skills have really just taken it to the next level. This looks so incredible. I was super eager to make this recipe from the Blue Apron Kit, so threw it together in like 20 minutes. I did white rice, salmon, marinated the cucumber and the radish in like a rice vinegar with some sesame oil, spicy mayo, some avo. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This honestly looks like a sushi bowl that you get from like a poke bowl place. We're gonna give it a taste test. Oh my gosh, wow. I'm not even exaggerating. This tastes like restaurant quality. Like, are we joking? So good. I just made my tea and I'm going to watch the new Caller Daddy episode. This is the one with Dave Portnoy and I heard it's really funny. So I'm going to watch this. I've been so into watching like podcasts on the TV, even just as background noise or just like honestly entertainment while I chill and I'm obsessed with the Caller Daddy episodes. So that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the night. It's about 1030. I just finished packing everything up for Naples. I think I'm going to leave at like 7 a.m. tomorrow. I want to leave as early as possible, but I'm getting kind of tired. I just took one of those let me sleep gummies, which I never really take that often, but I have not been getting the best night's sleeps. So I just took one of those and hopefully I'll be in bed pretty soon here. <laughs> but this episode is like an hour long, I think maybe. Anyways, that's what I'm doing for the rest of the night. So I'm gonna end off the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next vlog. Bye guys.